Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a swatch and sip. If you're new here, a swatch and sip is where I just get to play with eyeshadows, swatch them, and then we all have a drink and hang out. For my drink this morning, I just made myself a coffee. It's Sunday morning. I never do whipped cream, but it was a special occasion. Mm. To pause this video, grab a drink, and get ready to look at some beautiful eyeshadows. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. For today's video, I'm going to be covering Odin's Eyes' newest collection, the Legendary Diversa collection. This is going to be available today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I think a lot of people are very excited about this collection. I was gonna do a traditional style review for this, but the palettes and the colors were just so beautiful that I wanted to swatch them. So that's why we are here. I will have the tutorial that I'm wearing at the end of the video so that you can see how I got this look. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So the Legendary Diversa collection is really awesome because it's in collaboration with three different creators here on YouTube, all of which I love and I personally have been watching for quite some time. I've been subscribed to all of these ladies. They didn't have phenomenal job of picking who they picked for these palettes because each one of them brought it. Each of these palettes so stunning. Honestly, and I'm saying this up front, this is my favorite collection from Odin's Eyes. I've reviewed them from the beginning. I have recommended this brand to you guys a countless numbers of times and they step it up each time and they took a big step this time the creators did a fabulous job curating these palettes i think the quality is better here i think that the color stories are the best of the best that odin's eye has come out with so you need to watch this video okay all right, so we're actually gonna start off with the palette that I am currently wearing, and that is the Red Dragon palette. Now, this palette is in collaboration with Judy. The price of these are gonna be 27.9 euros, which is about like 33-ish dollars, if I'm doing the math correctly. Anyways, around that price point. Point being, they are very affordable for the type of textures that you are getting. And I'll talk about that more in a second, but let's take a closer look at the palette here. So this is Judy right here. She is beautiful. I definitely go subscribe to her if you aren't already. I love the artwork of these palettes. I love how the creator themselves is on here. Odin's Eye always kicks butt with their packaging. Really thought out, really beautiful. And here are the details on the back if you need to pause and take a look. It's just a regular kind of book style packaging. You open it up, you do have a mirror. Again, the art continues on the inside. In this particular palette, you have a really great ratio of mattes to shimmers. We have eight mattes, four shimmers, but if you are familiar with Odin's Eye, you know that their shimmers aren't regular shimmers. One of the best selling points of their brand, in my opinion, are their shimmer glittery lid topper formulas. Really unreal finishes, so glittery. I mean, you can see the impact on my eye right now. They managed to put these duo chromes and multi-shifting kind of shades, lots of texture, dimension, and glitter, and keep their prices at a lower price point. Brands charge a lot for that type of textures, so that's one of the reasons that I so very much love Odin's Eye. Great textures for a great price. Let me get a sip. I'm wearing this look on my eyes right now. You can see it is beautiful. This is the most wearable palette of the three. So if you're a big neutral kind of girl, this is going to be the one for you if you're only gonna pick up like one or two of them. But you can still get quite a dramatic look, so. <laughs> you could keep it neutral too, but let's get a little bit closer and start our swatching, shall we? And um, we're gonna start off with the top row. We're gonna get Sunrise, just so you can see how I'm pressing. A uh, Solar Flare. You guys, it feels so buttery and creamy, and I'm gonna get claw in here. Take a closer look at these. Mattes feel phenomenal in these palettes, and I can assure you they swatch beautifully, and they look beautiful as well. Sunrise. Oof. Solar flare right here, come on. And then we have claw. 
you can see how smooth they are. One thing that you'll notice about the swatch, and you can tell they are going to be very easy to work with, they aren't overly pigmented, so if you're a beginner with eyeshadows and blending, they have a very smooth finish, which is going to blend out really well, but they're not overly packed with pigment which makes it a little bit easier to work with. The next three shades, we have Overheat. Now, Overheat is more of a lid topper, so you're not gonna get quite as much pigment. Jade, which is a beautiful chartreuse, and then Luna. Oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> Luna is insane, you guys. So I have Overheat and Jade on my eyelid, but Luna is one of those super shifty shades. Let me get it on a bigger point on my finger so you can see more of it. It has a sh some shifts to it. I'm trying to... Okay, there's like green and pink and blue in here. Always a little bit harder to pick up on camera, but let's see. So that's overheat. That's going to be your lid topper shade. Um, while it looks boring on the arm... I have it on the inner half of my eye. You can see how much dimension you get from that on the eyelid. Here is Jade. Beautiful. This was one of the colors that stood out most to me. It's a gorgeous chartreuse. And then here, ugh, look at that. This is Luna. And again, just know there's shifts to it that can never seem to pick up on camera. I don't know how people manage to show it. All right, let's move on to the next three. This one is super pretty amber again you pick up so much pigment with this one no shifts to it but gorgeous glitters we have yin and then serene i have these two matte shades on my eyelids and they blended stunning and look at all that texture there amber Whew. yin look at that pigment and serene this one's a little bit more subtle but it's this color right here, so you still get it to show up. So those are those bottom three. Okay, and let's finish off with the last three. We have Fire, Aurora, and Dragon. So these are going to be those deepening tones. Maybe not Dragon, but I do have Dragon traced along my lower lash line. <sighs> like, look at that. Look at how they're swatching. So good for mattes. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't my prettiest swatch, but... Here we are. These are all of the shades in the Red Dragon palette. I will say in person, I do feel like the greens definitely pop a little bit more. Beautiful fall color story. The most neutral of the three. And um, the other two palettes are so much more colorful that I feel like I worry that this one's going to fall into the background. And I really hope not because look at this look. Insane. Absolutely stunning. So there we have it. That was Red Dragon. All right, this is the palette that I have next up on my desk, Giant Wolves. Now, this palette was in collaboration with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, and I will have all of these lovely ladies linked down below. And by the way, if you didn't know, the palettes do come in a sleeve. And look, there you have Annette right here. Ugh, I love it. The artwork, I'm super jealous. I want a cover like this. <laughs> so pretty. And then here is the back. And you guys, I love this color story. This is so beautiful. So here's what the inside looks like. And look at these blues and purples. Oh my gosh, this one's a little bit more grungy. Definitely the colors are more on the deep side. I love this color story too. And Annette is all about the shimmer, the glitters, the shifts. She loves deep matte shades. So this, ugh. I love this color story. This one is so fun. It's going to be a great winter color story. So let's get to swatching, shall we? This one right here has seven mattes and five textured shades. I mean, there's so many different ways to describe the formula. So let's start off at the top here. Let's get Astral, Flare, and Antipode. Is that right? <laughs> Anyways, this top row, by the way, would go great with the greens from the Judy palette. But take a look at these swatches. Look at that inner corner highlight. <sighs> Insane. Insane pigmentation. Great job on Odin's eyes part for that. Oh, I swatched this in the wrong order, but that's fine. <laughs> Woo! How stunning. And this last one is Astral. And in person, this has almost like a pink shift to it with some golden shimmers in there. Really stunning in person. And one thing that I cannot stress enough is that these shadows are legitimately so much more beautiful in person. And they're already beautiful on camera. Let's go in with Annihilation. Skull. 
hope I pronounced that correctly, and Desolate. This to me has Annette written all over it. She loves a good black shade. Look at this metal shade. I cannot wait to get these shades on my eyes. Y'all think I'm playing. All right, here we go. Here's Annihilation. Good black. Look at that swatch. I don't think Annette would settle for anything less. Skull. Oof. And then Desolate. This is why I did a swatch and sip. A normal review wasn't gonna cut it. We had to go over each shade individually. Going down to the third row, this is like my name written all over it. Howling, Hati, and Ablaze. Let me see, is this one more like a lid topper? Yeah, this one gives me more kind of a feeling it's lid toppery, but let's see. I swatched this one, but I haven't used it yet. So here we go. Dang! Yeah, so this one's more of a lid topper that doesn't take away from it as long as they don't have too many, which they don't. So there is a time and a place for that. And I mean, these mats, I am so impressed by. Last row, Cosmos Eternal, which is an insane color, you guys will see. And Azure. Okay. Do you guys, I mean, this is the only shade I want to talk about. Look at that. <laughs> It looks so smooth on the finger, and in person, there's such strong, like, green, blue. Okay, here we go. Oops. So that's that last shade that I swatch. Look, you can even, the shift is so strong, you can even see it kind of on camera. And then here's that last shade. I mean, come on. This palette is beautiful too. Look at these textures and shimmers. This swatch and sip series is the best video idea I've ever had. I am losing my mind. So here we have Red Dragon and Giant Wolves. Take a last look. All right, it's time to get into the last and final palette. <laughs> All right, it's time to get into the last and final palette, the Hummingbird palette. Now, this is in collaboration with Tina over at Fancy Face. Ugh, stunning. Now, this one is going to be the colorful one. So, if you love colored eyeshadow, this one is for you. Here's what the inside looks like. Look at that. And not only is this palette colorful, but we got depth and there's tons of texture in here. So as you can see in here, you're getting five mattes and seven shimmers. This one is so fun. I can't wait to create looks with this one. Let's just dive in here. Let's go into Feathers, Red Hills, and Star Apple. They look like on my finger. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looks good to me, really beautiful. Here we go. Okay, let's get into Swallowtail. Oh my gosh, so creamy, so much picked up without even pressing hard. Tropics and Lagoon. Is that Swallowtail shade? Look at how much pickup it has. Super duper creamy. I expect a lot of pigmentation from this one. Let's see. Oh yeah. Literally feels like a cream eyeshadow, you guys. <laughs> Insane. Ugh. Yes. <sighs> Do you guys think I'm crazy for this series? <laughs> this is what swatching eyeshadows does to me. When people are like, why is your collection so large? How can you wear so many eyeshadow palettes? It's not about just wearing them, okay? All right, let's move into the next row. Hibiscus. Beach Sands. Ooh. Yes. And then Hummingbird. Ooh. Yes. I just can't get over how creamy Odin's Eyes shimmers feel. And they're so beautiful. So we have Hibiscus. Great swatch there. Reds can go wrong so fast. Beach Sands. Great neutral tone in here. And Hummingbird. Yep. Look. That shade. That shade. And that shade in a look. Oh, honey. Okay. Mm. This is going to be one of those shifty shades. Fancy. Then we have Blue Fields. Blue Fields doesn't feel quite as creamy as the others, but I'm sure it works just fine. Take a look at that fancy shade. I'll get a close-up of this shifts for you. Wow. 
okay i mean i feel like these colors are curated so good in every single palette there's so many different looks that i can see i feel like that's what happens when creators curate palettes it's what we want look at this how beautiful is this palette if you like color you absolutely have to get your hands on this one okay so there we go this right here is the hummingbird palette stunning i can tell you the quality is great without even trying it just by swatch i'm not surprised at how great these palettes are gonna be all right, I'm going to first go into the tutorial of how I got this look with the Red Dragon palette, and we will be back to give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, so for this look today, I decided to go with the Red Dragon palette, which is the Judy palette. I chose this one because I'm going to actually talk about this palette in the video that I'm filming after this, so I wanted to be wearing it, and I have to say, <laughs> freaking love this look so as my base right now i just have some concealer using an esim s33 we are going into jade which is this beautiful chartreuse color leaning a little bit more green when it came to opening this palette in particular it was this shade that immediately caught my eye so i knew i had to do a look where this color played a large role because look at that so i just kind of put it everywhere on the outer half of my crease taking a refer number 12 brush we are going into serene and this i'm going to put in the inner half of my crease and this is a really beautiful light peachy shade pretty as that you see how pretty that also fades into the green i'm going to add a little bit of depth in the center of the crease and i'm using yin just using the same brush i'm using a really light hand we're going to create a little bit of depth right in the center of the eye. I'm going to add more depth on the outer part, and it will make more sense in a second. And we wanted a little bit of depth in the eye to add a little bit more interest to the look. The one thing I will say about Jade, especially if you start mixing other colors in, you're going to have to go in a couple times just to kind of refresh it, keep the chartreuse present. With an Almar Detailed Diffuser Brush, we're going into Claw. This is the perfect shade to add depth to the chartreuse shade. And I'm just going to put this in the outer corner to add depth. I'm going to go in with more of Jade over top to keep the integrity of the color but underlying i do want this depth and then i'm going back into jade i'm gonna put it over everything again so you see how that holds the depth but putting that green over top still leaves it in the look very very pretty with a big fat pencil brush this is a refer number 26 we're going into fire and i'm going to make a blueprint for the liner so it doesn't need to be too intense now like i said i'm just mapping it out Okay, that's gonna do for now nothing crazy i'm gonna take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and i wouldn't necessarily say i'm doing a cut crease but i'm going to clean up this area so that there's no color so i'm just putting some concealer over top don't worry about precision of your cut crease like i said it's just to brighten up the area for the shimmer shades that are going to go on top again nothing crazy don't worry too much about precision. We're going to start off with overheat. I'm going to use my finger because this shade was not the best applied with a brush. This is more of a lid topper kind of texture right here. So a finger is going to be your best bet and it's going to stick right onto that concealer that we placed down. This shade is stunning. Oh my goodness. How Odin's Eye creates such beautiful textures while keeping it at such an affordable price is crazy to me okay we're gonna go into solar flare next now this one is not quite as lit toppery you could definitely apply this with a brush but i'm just gonna use my finger we're gonna bridge that to the chartreuse color if you like texture shiny glitteriness odin's eye you will love them now we're going to start redefining that upper lash line wing so i'm going to go into fire again so like i said we already have that blueprint down so it should be pretty easy i'm just using more of a dense brush so that the color is more opaque it is an eyeshadow so it's going to be softer but i think that's what makes it pretty okay clean up any fallout i'm going to take the brush that i used with the concealer 
We're gonna sharpen everything. That's how I got it to look so clean. Oh, I love it. This is Sonia G at Soft Definer. We're taking Sunrise. And this is going to go along my lower lash line. It's going to bring in those warmer tones and pull them together. It's a great bridging color between the two original crease colors, the peach and the chartreuse. Kind of pulls the whole look together. Next, we're going to take Dragon using the same brush. And I'm not going to go quite as low as I did with Sunrise. I want Sunrise to peek through. This is going along that lower lash line. Oh my gosh, see, I was worried when I first did this that it was going to make me look sick, but it, it looks sick. Like, it looks so good. Then, ever so slightly to add a little bit more definition and to pull the liner together, we're going to go into fire. I mean, I'm barely touching, and I'm just going to run that as close to my lash line as possible, just to add subtle hints of depth. And that's the look. I am freaking obsessed with this look. Oh my goodness, this makes me want to put all of the other colors on my eyes from the other palettes. All right, I'm going to do liner and lashes, and I mean, at this point, you guys have seen the final look already. All right, you guys, there we have it. That was my swatch and sip using the new Odin's Eye collection. I know I didn't use all of the palettes on my eyes, but I'm very familiar with Odin's Eye, and based on my swatches as well, I can tell you that the quality on these are amazing. The textures that you are getting for this price, it really is such a good deal. And most importantly, you are supporting fabulous creators. If you can't pick up all of the palettes, well, I don't have a favorite. I think all of them, like, are so special in their own way. If you're more of a neutral wearer, then you definitely want to go with Red Dragon, obviously. If you're bold with your shadows, you like vibrancy, you're going to want to go with the Hummingbird palette. And if you like grungier, smoky eyes, the Nets palette, the Giant Wolves, is going to be for you. However, I think it's going to be really hard to choose if you have to choose because they're all so beautiful, so well done. A huge congratulations to these creators. Seriously, I like cannot stress this enough. These palettes are stunning. If you want to see more looks with these palettes, make sure you're following me over at my Instagram, Morgan Turner Makeup. I definitely have plans to create more looks with these. I'm having so much fun with them already. Don't think you'll be disappointed. Now, as far as I'm aware, I do not believe any discount codes are going to work with this collection. However, if you are on the website and you're picking anything else out not from this collection, make sure you use somebody's code. It doesn't have to be mine. Mine is Morgan Turner, but I do encourage you to use the codes of the creators. Other than that, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little swatch session that we had. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.